Hi, Billy Mays here. I have here the rice cooker for all you uh, fatties out there. Uh, have you ever wondered why those Chinese and Japanese and dirty knees and Vietnamese and whatever knees, how they always seem to be thin? You, have you ever seen a fat Chinese guy or woman? Uh, rarely. Uh, Hey, welcome back to another series of Living in a Car. It's been a while. Uh, I guess it's been almost 11 months since I've been living in my car nonstop. And for the past few months, I've been using this contraption right here for my diet, my food consumption. Now you could, it's not just like a rice cooker. You could do like oatmeal or pastas so i bought this rice cooker on amazon for about 40 bucks and it works great so far i could honestly say that i used it at least 25 times minimum all right so now that you took a few shots you should be good and hungry so uh let's cook some rice y'all um unfortunately i i couldn't find my cup measurement thingy that they give you with the package so i'm just gonna guesstimate and i'm just gonna go ahead and keep going until i feel comfortable with the amount of rice depends on how hungry you are you could add a lot you could add a little um it just depends after a while you don't have to use the measuring cup you could just eyeball it all right now it's time to put h2o in the rice seal and uh and uh like i said i'm just i'm just kind of eyeballing it and a lot of people just like to use water but you know you could try to experiment a little bit there's nothing wrong with that a lot of people whites or asians like plain rice i like to do it canadian style i like to kick it up a notch bam bruce lee style yeah, just a little more yeah that smells like it's enough all right guys let's uh, check this out now it's it's brown that's because uh, there's a little bit of uh a little bit of, you know, a little some sum in there. <laughs> now that you put water, beer, whiskey, wine, whatever Kool-Aid, whatever you feel <laughs> like it. Uh, now cover it up and close the lids. It's pretty cool, it's got these two handles. Uh, now for the sake of this video so I can make it faster, I put a little bit of rice and a little bit of water. I could easily do four times amount what I just did, but for the sake of video, I'm not gonna do that. Now it's time to plug it up. The plug. I hate when I have to keep doing it. It's like 50 50 chance and I still get it wrong. God. All right, so cigarette lighter. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I already said that's the benefit of uh, this whole rice cooker. It goes in your car. So, there you go. All right, so there you go. All right, as soon as you plug it in, you're going to see this green light over here. That means it's waiting for you to press the big button over here so it can cook. Until you press it, it's it's just on standby right now. Before you hit the big button, um, turn your car on. Because I had to learn, I had to learn the hard way. Uh, my battery actually died uh, just, I guess, three weeks ago, maybe a month ago. I had to call AAA. Uh, you know, I have AAA insurance. They come to me whenever I need them. Best 50 bucks a year you, you could ever spend. But anyway, uh, yeah, my battery died. So turn on the car before you do this. Okay, now you wait. And uh, I, 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 since I didn't put that much in here, I would say about 15 
minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes at most. It just depends uh, like how cold your water and I guess there's some variables. And all right, so you'll know when it's ready to go because the green light will come on and steam will come out. So I'll see you in 20 minutes, all right? Where's my beer? 20 minutes later. All right, so when you, whenever you see the green light, that's a good sign. That means you're good to go and you could go ahead and unplug it from the back and then turn off your car. Before you open up the lid, you wanna go ahead and uh, roll your window down because if you don't, here's what's gonna happen, obviously. For safety reasons, I learned that for you to avoid getting a steam burn, you want, when you open the lid, you want to kind of open it away from you. So the steam would go that way instead of just opening it this way where the steam gets all over your face, all over your hands. So try to get the steam away from your body. And one way you could do that is by controlling how you open the lid. You could do it like this or like that. Don't do it like that or like that, that's just wrong. Now what's really awesome about this rice cooker is that if you don't have a plate, you could use the rice cooker as your plate or bowl to eat out of. It's really hard to believe, but you could actually live off $1 a day with this rice cooker. Hey, welcome back. Since you are done cooking rice now, uh, we're gonna go on, move on to the advanced level, which is pasta. Um, you could definitely do this the wrong way. You could go cheap or you could pay the premium for better taste. As a recent shareholder, I absolutely recommend you going with Kraft, AKA Kraft Heinz uh, Company. I, I just got suckered into their dividends. But anyway, you don't wanna just do it like, you don't wanna cook pasta like you cook rice, okay? You don't wanna just throw in pasta and then throw in water and business as usual. It's not like that with uh, pasta. You could do it like that, but it, it, you're not gonna enjoy the meal, um, the aftermath. So. The proper way to do it is to add water first, okay? Go ahead, add water. Uh, now the rule of thumb is you wanna add twice as much water as you, whatever content you put in. Now that's not like a rule set in stone. That's just like my rule. Uh, but I'm not trying to be proper. I'm just trying to eat. Okay, as a matter of fact, let's just put the whole bloody thing in there. All right. It's a full house. Now it's time to plug it up. And open it up. Slide 50-50 chance. Let's see if I get it right. Oh, wow. Right after you plug it up, you want to go ahead and turn your car on, all right? And then, and then you want to cover it with the lid, lock it in place, and press this. And now we just wait. So you can wait until the green light, but you don't have to. As long as, oh my God, that's hot. Wow, that is hot. Somebody should make a caution. Oh, there is a caution and it says hot. Okay. <coughs> okay. I should be embarrassed, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna happen to every single one of you. Okay, you can open it up. Oh yeah, the water is boiling. See, I don't see why you couldn't make like hard boiled eggs or something. 
I mean, you you should be able to. You sh- um, I definitely cooked mashed potatoes before. It was delicious. So now that the water is boiling, you, you want to kind of hurry up and uh, kind of keep your mouth shut because the water is barely boiling. Go ahead and throw all this spiral pasta, which is brand new from Kraft. All right, now here's the fun part. And now we wait until it goes green. Somehow, some way, it knows when the meal is ready. Obviously, you always double check, but so futuristic how does it know when the meal is ready that's pretty next level now we wait some more all right so i've been waiting for the green light to come on but it's not coming on and i can tell that the pasta in there is ready because it was spilling out some H2O. That's why I I put it in towel. Uh, FYI, you should put a towel here before you start cooking. Um, Rice or pasta. I don't know, I just feel safer this way. So, holy shit, what was I saying? The green light, it's not turning on. So I'm ready to turn off my lights. And now, you, let's see, you could see, it's, it sounds like it's ready. I mean, it's, it sounds kind of like it's dry. Okay, uh, I was wrong. I can't tell if I should wait. No, I think that's, that's enough. But I actually know what to do. So I learned this in one of my restaurants I used to work in, in this Italian restaurant in Tennessee. So if you, this is one way you could tell if pasta is ready or not. So make sure that you cool it down, just grab a pasta and you wanna just kinda throw it and see if it sticks to a surface. If it sticks to a surface, it's ready. If it doesn't stick to a surface, it's not ready. That's how you could uh, tell if pasta is ready or not, believe it or not, which is weird. Um, That's how they do it in Italy. When in Rome, let us put on some cheese. I absolutely regret buying this whole block of cheese like I was born in like we're in World War II or something I don't know why I bought it I just feel like it was a good price I bought it at Walmart it was like six dollars which is unbelievable so I had to buy it all right now the cheese is in there now we put the craft cheese this powder cheese I don't have to put it in there, but I don't believe in waste. You know, there are starving people in Alabama and Mississippi. Yeah, so you gotta try to do the right thing. I had the sheriff, but I didn't eat the mac and cheese. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, that's some good stuff right there. Oh, craft. What will you think of next? So uh, this is basically the end. Now I'm eating mac and cheese. Mm. Oh my God. It's so good. It's so good. It should be confidential. Um, I guess I didn't mention this, but this is a Korean product. You know, good job, Korea, but unfortunately, 
There is no American counterpart. I tr I looked. If you could find one, go to that. But in the meantime, you should give this Korean company uh, a try. I have no association with them. So far, so good. I mean, it's an amazing product. It will absolutely pay for itself. I'm eating mac and cheese on a rice cooker, or I could eat pastas, I could eat mashed potatoes, uh, stuffing, or, you know, hard boiled eggs. It, it, there's a lot of options. Um, Good job, Korea. So thank you for joining me at Living in the Car. And uh, until next time, I'll see you soon.